guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a really long time since I did a haul video, so I thought I would do one for you guys today. And yeah, I have been getting messages left, right and centre asking me to do a haul one. And I have accumulated a lot of stuff since my last haul, which I can't even remember when that was. Um, but yeah, so I thought I would split it into two videos just because otherwise we would be here for a very long time. Um, so yeah, it's stuff that I've accumulated, um, I want to say from December on to now. So the first part is going to be clothing and the second part is going to be shoes. And yeah, let's get right into the clothing. So the first few items that I'm going to be showing you guys are vintage pieces. Um, I have been thrifting quite a little bit and yeah, I've just picked up some really awesome pieces. So one of the first pieces that I picked up were these vintage Levi shorts. I picked these up um, at JJ Market in Thailand when I was there a couple of weeks ago. And yeah, I scored these for like £6. I did buy a pair of vintage like high-waisted mum jeans as well, but they didn't fit me right. So yeah, I'm not going to be showing you guys those. But yeah, I picked those two up for like £12 altogether, which is absolutely crazy. Next up are two band tees that I picked up um, in LA when I was there last, which was uh, a couple weeks ago as well. First one is this Aerosmith one and... Oh, I just, oh, I love it so much. So yeah, this one's Aerosmith and it has like their tour dates at the back as well. And you guys know how much I love like back details on t-shirts. So yeah, I picked this one up. Um, I can't remember how much it was. I think it was maybe around like just under $50. And yeah, the second one that I picked up was a Kiss one. Um, it already came like DIY'd but I didn't really mind. It fits me really, really nicely and I absolutely love Kiss. So, and I haven't got them in my collection yet. So yeah, I picked this one up and again, I think it was under $50. Next vintage purchase is from Beyond Retro and I picked this t-shirt up when I was at London Fashion Week. Uh, it is just a vintage, oh yeah, it is a Harley Davidson one. <laughs> I didn't even look. Um, but yeah, so it is a vintage Harley Davidson one and again, it has a really cool back detail. And yeah, I picked this up, I think it was about £15. It fits me, again, really nicely and it's a little bit soft and worn, which I love. Also from Me and Retro is my checker shirt that I am wearing. I am obsessed with my flannel shirts and yeah, so I thought I would just add more. I currently now have three vintage ones and again, I need to pick up more colours because they are just so easy to just chuck on over a t-shirt and just leave the house in. I think I picked this one up for about £17 or something like that. Next we have ASOS. It is the perfect piece to wear when you're going to like a really hot and humid country because it's so light and it is this jumpsuit and I don't even know what kind of material it is. Like I thought it was silk but it's not. <laughs> I love how there's just like pieces of fabric just hanging out and yeah you can tighten them so it's like a d-ring belt I believe it's called and yeah super comfortable pocket at the back and I absolutely I'm in love with this thing and yeah I picked this one up. I got this in a size UK 6. Next up we have Boohoo and one of the purchases I got is this camel um, waffle knit Waffle knit? I'm not sure if it's even waffle knit. Um, jumper, and it's kind of wrapped. Sorry, I got a bobby pin there. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of like crossover wrapped kind of thing. And yeah, I just I wasn't sure when I ordered it if it was gonna fit me right because I don't have boobs. Um, so I wasn't sure if it was gonna like hold it up in place. But no, it actually fits me really well, and it's super comfortable. Um, I just really, really love it. And this was a size small. So yeah, next up from Boohoo, we also have a long line bomber. Um, I've been wanting to look for something that's a little bit shorter than my Alexander Wang one. So this one was perfect and it is very kind to your wallet as well. <laughs> I think it was around maybe 25 or 30 pounds. It's super cozy and I wear this a lot on dog walks and doing errands and I got it in a size 
So, next is a basic tea that I got from Reformation, or it's probably pronounced Reformation, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, however it's pronounced. Um, but yeah, so I got this from their store. I am in love with all their clothing. Like, I have to go and visit the store every time I'm in LA, just because there's so many beautiful pieces in there. It's super soft, and it's just like the perfect go-to t-shirt when I don't know what to wear. But yeah, I can't remember how much this is again because I bought it a while ago. But um, if it's on the website still, I will leave a link down below for you guys. Next we have Brandy Melville. I am a sucker for Brandy and yeah, I kind of raid it every time I go to LA. But this time I didn't go that crazy. I think I only walked away with like two things. Um, one of them was a pair of joggers, which are again in the wash, so I couldn't show you guys. Um, and the second was this t-shirt, Led Zeppelin tee. And yeah, it kind of has like a vintage feel, which I really like. And I've just customised it a little bit by just cutting it and ripping it. I absolutely love this, and I don't think it was that expensive. Next we have Zara. I didn't really go crazy in Zara. I haven't really found any pieces in there that were just like... Oh my god, I need to get them. I went in where they had their sale and I thought I would pick up some basics. Um, I kind of live in basics, so yeah, it was perfect. first basic that I picked up was this just plain <laughs> long sleeve black tee. Um, I got it in a medium and it was 50% off, so I think I only paid like £5 for this. The second piece that I picked up from Zara is this grey lightweight knit. Um, I was watching Barbara's video and she also had this in her video and yeah it fits really nicely and I just love how kind of deep the v-cut is. I just picked up in a size small, it was the smallest one that they had. Um, it's originally £20 but I paid 10 because it was in the 50% off sale. It feels like cashmere even though it's not cashmere and it was a really good bargain so yeah pick this one up too. Next on the list, we have a Uniqlo and Le Mer, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, Le Mer collaboration. I picked this one up um, when I was in Bangkok. I got it in a medium and I just went for a colour of something that I wouldn't really go for, but it's such a pretty colour and I think it goes really nicely with my skin tone. Yeah, it was about £20. Next up we have H&M. H&M is just one of the brands that are slowly getting their shit together. I think and uh, just coming up with really awesome pieces and I think those pieces are really great to transition into spring and summer so yeah I picked up recently three pieces I think I actually got all of these pieces in one week which is actually a bit scary <laughs> first of the jacket is this really stunning like forest green one it's kind of like in a silky material which I really like it's very lightweight and I just love all the ruffles on this and I just think it's so, so awesome. Yeah, it also comes with a tie at the back and absolutely stunning. I think this was about $49.99 but if you shop online like they always have discount codes and stuff and the shipping is super fast at the moment. So yeah, I recommend that you get it online if you can because you just get it for cheaper. And I got this in size 6. So the next jacket I got from H&M is this stunning Campbell trench coat. Um, I got this one online and I thought at first it was suede but when it arrived it wasn't. Um, and I'm kind of glad that it wasn't suede because otherwise currently like I wouldn't be able to wear it out because it's just weird weather at the moment um but yeah so I absolutely love this I don't really know what kind of material it is but it is very soft which is really nice and it falls onto my body really nicely I think this was 60 pounds like 59.99 um just because it was from their conscious collection I think. Yeah last item from H&M is this off the shoulder blouse. I think it's so stunning on. Um, on the website it does look like slightly cream I think um, but yeah so when it arrived it was a little bit more pink than I wanted but it's still it's such a stunning colour that I decided to keep it. I picked this up um, online as well. I got it in a size 6 and I have a feeling it was about $29.99. So yeah, that was my clothes haul. I know it kind of went on for a little bit, but yeah, I did tell you before that it was quite a lot of stuff. So <laughs> anyways, I will now get on to filming my shoe haul. 
And yeah, I will see you soon, guys. Bye!